This video was produced for and in collaboration with tutodxo.com. I suggest visiting the website for further details about this video. You can find the links in the description. The goal of editing is to produce an image that can be shared via email, on social networks, or even better, to be printed. In both the photo library or customize window, there are three ways to access the export panel. In the thumbnail browser, you can right-click on an image and select the export option. In the menu at the top, image then export or file export under Windows. Or simply click on the export to disk button in the bottom right. The drop-down menu next to the export button allows you to select different export destinations. We'll take a look at them later. You can select multiple images at once to export them. To do so, on a Mac, hold down Command and click on the images. Under Windows, hold down Control when clicking. With the images selected, click on the Export button or right-click and select Export. PhotoLab provides several destinations for export. To disk, to save to a storage device like an SSD. To application, to open the processed image in another application. To Lightroom, this opens the processed file in Lightroom. And to other services depending on your system, Mac or Windows. In this video, we are going to focus on exporting to disk. By default, PhotoLab offers four options when exporting to disk, which can be seen in the panel on the left over here. You can create your own preset export option to best suit your requirements, like my export preset for social networks. We'll look at how later. In the Elite version, you can choose multiple options simultaneously, allowing you to export to different formats in one go. Depending on your workflow, this can save a lot of time. To do this, check the boxes here and then click Export. When exporting, the options for the export settings are displayed in the column on the right over here. The options are grouped by different criteria. Under Action, you can choose between different file formats such as JPEG in order to share the photo on social networks or for printing. You can adjust the quality of the export using the slider. 100% is the maximum quality and will result in the largest files. For social networks, a setting of 90-95% to is very good. The TIFF format, which can be set to either 8-bit or 16-bit, is suitable for saving images to be processed later with other applications such as Photoshop or Affinity Photo, DNG with all corrections applied, or denoise and optical corrections only, is useful when working with other photo editing software such as Lightroom. It's the same format exported by PureRaw. Take note that there are no quality options when using the DNG format. You can find details about the DNG export options and a comparison to TIFF under Mastering PhotoLab to DNG export modes on tutodxo.com. The default location for saving images is the same folder as RAW Photos. You can either leave it at the default and export to the same folder or select your own custom folder as a destination, which you can access through your computer's folder structure. You can also choose to save the image to a subfolder, which is created automatically if you enter a name into the subfolder field. Under Windows, add a backslash and the name at the end of the path or use the File Explorer options. More about the differences in creating folders under Windows can be found on tutodxo.com. By default, PhotoLab appends the suffix underscore dxo to the name of an image when saving. The suffix can be deleted or modified to make it easier to differentiate between multiple versions of an image. Resizing allows you to change the resolution of an image, its physical dimensions and to choose the interpolation method. Resolution sets the pixel density used for printing. The drop-down next to it allows you to choose between inches and centimeters as the unit. If you don't intend to print, this setting can be neglected. For further details, take a look at Definition and Resolution on tutodxo.com. To change the dimensions of an image, tick the box Enable Resizing to display the options that are available. 
You have several options when resizing. Rotate to fit. This constrains the height or width of an image to the set values. It doesn't rotate the image, but rather the output to match the image. Fit is the recommended option for printing. With this option, Photolab scales the image to the maximum possible within the set dimensions if they are different from the original image. Longest or shortest side allows you to set the exact length of the chosen side for the exported image. Megapixels enables you to set the megapixel count for the image. Proportional allows you to resize the image in relation to the original dimensions in percent. 100% does not change the dimensions. Depending on the method selected for resizing, you can choose between pixels, centimeters and inches as units to set the dimensions of the image to be exported. Interpolation sets the resampling method used to suit the requirements during export. Bicubic is the default interpolation method and it's also the most balanced in respect to the image. Bicubic Sharper works in the same way as Bicubic and additionally enhances sharpness. This method is best for small images to be used online. Bilinear respects the colors more but doesn't do very well with gradients. It can lead to a lot of banding. You can find detailed articles about resizing and resolution on tutodxo.com. If you activate the watermark override option for an image that does not have one, the default option no watermark has no effect. If a watermark was added to the image during editing, the default setting removes it during export. If you have created your own watermark presets, these will be available via the drop down in addition to the no watermark option and can be selected to be applied during export. These options are especially useful when exporting using different presets. In the lead version of Photolab, you can set an ICC profile for the color space of the exported image. In general, sRGB and Adobe RGB are best suited for the most common uses. However, for specific use cases such as printing, it's advisable to get in touch with your printing service to find out which color space will provide the best rendering for the output. For more detailed information about color spaces, take a look at the tutorial Working Color Space on tutodxo.com. The link is in the description. Check the box Preserve Color Details in order to protect saturated colors when using a soft proofing or extended ICC profile. The Include option for metadata allows you to choose which metadata is to be saved with the image. All or none, copyright and contact info only, or copyright only. Just as a reminder, EXIF includes the camera's technical information about the shot, equipment, and settings. Attributes are the selection status, the rating, and the color label. IPTC are the non-technical details such as copyright, name, and so on, and the self-explanatory keywords and GPS data. It's very easy to create your own custom export preset. To do so, click on Add New Option, make the desired settings in the right column, and give your new preset a name and activate it. New presets are added to the end of the list and it is not possible to change the order. That's it. For further information about DxO Photolab, please visit tutodxo.com. Thank you for watching.